Hello animators and welcome back to another video about animation. This day I want to talk about how to fix a rig when they lack of some feature, like uh, having the IK arm in uh, body space, head space and stuff like that. And many free rigs lack of, of, about this. So we will see how to do it. We will see how to do it with the uh, body mechanics rigs by Joe Daniels. But this technique can be uh, applied to any rig. The only thing we have to open the original file and not the reference one and um, do this modification and uh, save and import in our scene as a reference because we know that we need to do to animate our shot by importing as a reference a rig. So, um, in specific, we will see how to add uh, the new spaces for the IK arm, uh, which would be the head space, hip space, and body space. Let's see how to do it. First, we add the attribute to the head, to the hand. Let's see, we want to add the space for the head, for the hips, and, and the body, the typical ones. And we just start adding the new attribute and uh, leaving everything as default. We just put the name. Zero one, which means on and off, and he adds this new attribute, and that's it. Joking apart, we keep going with this, but it's super simple. So we add as many space as we want, and he uh, said uh, probably body. So on and off, zero one. So we have our spaces, and now we need to connect with the head, uh, hips, and body actually of the rigs, but we cannot straight connect one to, to another because if not, the control will be locked, of course. So we need to add uh, another filter on top of it. We can, uh, or even going up and do the constraint here, but I prefer to just group this one and probably rename. Uh, this should be left arm space group and work with this one. So now we need to select the object of the constraint, the three body hips head in this case, and then select the the group we just did. So all this selection all together. Now we can perform the parent constraint without any offset, so default and constraint. And now we just need to connect via node editor. So here we just need to drag inside with the middle mouse the constraint we just did, the node, and actually the, the control of the end. And probably we need just this. We don't need the shapes. To expand this, just press 3. Select and press 3. And we see our space, head, hips, and the body. And here we see the real name of that object. So first we need to understand how the rigs is the, the main convention. For instance, the body is called the upper body, the hips is called the uh, spine pelvis, and the head is called the uh, head of K. So we need to connect this way one to each other. There are a lot of names, but when we start tracking, just the available ones are uh, visible, so it's easier. So head with head, hips with, we saw that it's called spline pelvis, and uh, and then the body with the uh, upper body. And uh, actually that's it, we did our connection. If I try now, 
is exactly the same as before because I didn't set up anything. So it's in word space basically. But if I click here, now I have my space. And if I put to follow the, the hips, maybe let's start with the body. It means that when I move this one, it should move. The other one it stays there, which is correct. So if I need to make a funny dance and I want to do to constrain this one, we get, so if I have this kind of pose, typical of, the, I don't know, someone waiting, I have to put it there. I just set up this to one and then I can uh, do a nice pose. I can uh, dance, move this one and it will be connected. And a nice pose, like a weight shift and stuff like that. I'm yeah, sure that is always connected, and of course I can animate on top of this because it's it's not locked. I can animate as much as I as I want, but it follows the hips. Same thing is, of course, I can do with the head. So I can put it here if I need. Yeah, we can explore, we can add uh, new spaces. Of course, to the other, to the other arm as well. We can also add the, the same, with the same method, we can add some uh, global orientation with the head, which this rig, I, I, I guess, doesn't have as well. So it, it's nice to understand how to connect to add the attribute to connect via node editor. With this method, we need to work in the original file in the scene file. Let's say with another name I import in uh, in our animation scene, which we need to import as a reference. So we now know how to improve our rigs, how to add specific new attribute to it. In this example, I just added the body space the hip space and the head space for the IK arm. We can do this technique for probably every rig we want to use. The only thing we have to open the original file, save it as I said before, and uh, import as a reference with the new space available. Because it's well to use it, this mega pack we use a lot in squashandstretch.net. I did a simple script that automates this process to add these three spaces to the IK arm. You can download it for free. I put the link in the description. And also I brought a brand new plugin that can add this space on uh, uh, any part of the rigs and you can use in the reference file. I use every day at work uh, if I have to uh, put a new space, for instance, a prop that I want to lock my arms into, or maybe, uh, I don't know, the, the glasses or whatever I need. Um, just with one click, add the new space to the IK arm. As I said, I can use in the reference file, so it doesn't change at all the rig, and uh, I can use, uh, and I use every day at work. And I can put a link for the description of this uh, brand new plugin uh, to see how it works. And if you want to download it, uh, please feel free to follow the link.